welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, hello, my name is Sammy, and today I have a Sims 4 speed build for you guys. So normally I would be doing Animal Crossing speed builds, but I figured I'd um, try a Sims 4 speed build this time around. Um, instead of just an apartment, it's actually a uh, actual full building <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoy this one if you like content like this or even animal crossing content don't forget to like comment and subscribe and turn on those bell notifications so that you can be notified of any future videos that i post so anyways here we're working on the architecture of the building as you guys know from if you saw my last speed build for my apartment renovation, um, I am not a big fan of creating the actual buildings. <laughs> I prefer doing the decorating inside, so like interior decorating. But I tried my best at this one. I'm not the fastest, so <laughs> please pardon me being a little bit slower than other um creators but i did try my best uh, for the exterior um the side paneling i decided to use the paneling from the eco lifestyle um pack oh and we're actually in the world of henford on bagley right now so i'm pretty sure this lot's name is called cordelia secret cottage so it's the lot that's all the way at the top of the mountain. So we're building on this lot. It's a 30 by 20 lot. And here we're just working on the bathroom. The main, um, well, since this is a cottage, I decided that I wanted to use a lot of the items from the cottage living as well as from the country kitchen kit. And my main color, or the color scheme that I wanted to go for was um, a mint green color. So you can see that mirror um, from the dream home decorator. I thought it would match the greens from the um, bathtub and the sink. Oh, and that red shelf that you saw, it's just a way to help um, to place items easier. i uh, make sure to link how you can download it down in the description below and i was able to use that mint robe it's so exciting that we got that update where we have new color swatches for um different items i think they said it was like 1200 1200 plus swatches of different items and that is so exciting i was so excited to hear that and here I am trying to figure out what areas I want each section to be so like the living room the kitchen and the dining room and like I said before I did end up using the country kitchen kit so I'm using this green color I thought would match the couch from the living room really well and I know it's like a really small build <laughs> i wish i could have made it as a um tier three for the tiny living um so that you could have the perks of the tier three but really this i call this a small build or a tiny house because it is rather small the space is small but because i have the porch areas outside it I wasn't able to consider it as a tiny home but that's okay <laughs> but yeah like i said before the color scheme is that mint green color and then surprisingly i ended up mixing light and dark woods together i don't know how i was able to pull that off normally it's like the hardest thing for me to do that but you can see that we have like the dark flooring and the dark doors 
and then we have some aspects of light colored wood furniture so here we're just working on the living room trying to figure out how um, it's going to be looking as well as finishing off the shelving a little bit and here we're just cluttering the shelves in the kitchen I'm using majority of the items I use I think for this area is the dine out pack it, that's such a good pack when it comes to cluttering kitchens and then I think I also ended up using some things from outdoor retreat like this ketchup bottle and stuff like that <laughs> on these pots I think is also from outdoor retreat so we're just cluttering the area a little bit since I decided to finish cluttering up those shelves I wanted to clutter up the rest of the kitchen so I'm so happy that I have like this um, the tool mod or the organized debug because it definitely helps <laughs> when I'm trying to figure out how to um, or figure out what items I want to place so it's easier to find because of how organized it is so there isn't too much clutter in the kitchen it's pretty basic your sims are still able to cook and put down um, items or whatever they cooked they're still able to put it on the um, countertops so it still works out that way and then here I pretty much finished the kitchen so here we're just moving on to this little dining area I thought it would be nice to have this kitchen counter or not kitchen counter <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about um, this um, display case for um, plates and such and here you can see that I'm using the tool mod I'm trying to figure out how high or how um, to rotate things using the tool mod I I'm not the best at it yet <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out the kinks of it and how it works but slowly I'm getting it and I'm definitely enjoying using it I think it makes builds a lot easier and I do recommend you using that using the tool mod also but if you don't want to it's okay too like you don't I will be uploading this to the gallery and you don't need to have the tool mod or the red shelf um, custom content in order to place the lot so you don't have to worry about that if you're if you don't want to um, get the mods or anything like that so it's okay don't worry about it <laughs> but here I it's also easy to move bulks of things like you saw that I had a hard time when I was trying to put that um, knitted turtle on top of the octopus <laughs> you saw that I spent quite a lot of time on that but it was easy to move it once I had to um, oh yeah for this lot or for this build I actually imagined that um, this couple had a dog <laughs> so here we have the um, food dispenser for the dog and it's funny because um, I actually played in this lot and then when I was playing I imagined that oh yeah this couple wants or they've lived here for a while they've had their dog for a while but they also wanted a kid so they were trying for a baby and then lo and behold the first time I try um, or when I'm doing the gameplay for this the first time that I try they actually do have a baby so obviously now they have to move out or like change the um, extension or change something about the house in order to fit a baby but 
I was thinking maybe that could be like a future build that I can do. So here we're doing a little bit of more clutter in the area. And like I said, I've mixed the wood and um, the dark and light wood swatches um, for this build. So like at the dining table, I'm using those dark wood um, chairs and then this console table is also a dark wood color but I think it all just matches really nicely it ends up flowing really well and then here I'm using this shelf from the country kitchen kit and we're just gonna clutter that with a bunch of stuff since this build is or this um, house or cottage is really small I figure that they have a lot of um, items that they like to display or um, they have a lot of clutter since they don't have a lot of storage space it just looks like they have a lot of things that are um, just around the house but yeah I personally love <laughs> decorating with clutter. I am not the best when it comes to minimalistic builds, but that is a goal of mine to try and see if I can create a, min a minimalistic build because honestly, like I think they look really nice. Like the um I've seen a bunch um like they're Japanese themed and they're minimalistic and I'm I just look at them and I'm like, "Oh, I wish I could do that <laughs> like I my hand just automatically ends up going to cluttering things like it always just wants to grab more items <laughs> and put it all around the house but that's okay that's that's my style I really like how this um lot ended up anyway with all the clutter style that it has and then here we're working on the entryway and I am just putting, um, what is it called? There was this hanging thing. Oh, this one, the bag, uh, from Cottage Living. And I thought it was so cute and I decided to put, um, a mirror under it as well so that, um, the couple can check how they look before, um, they leave the house. There are a few things that I forgot to add <laughs> into um, the build, but I did add it before I uploaded to the gallery, so you don't have to worry about that. Like a trash can in the kitchen, I totally forgot <laughs> to add a trash can to the kitchen, but it's okay because <laughs> It worked out anyway. I remembered in the end before I uploaded. And then here we have the dog bed. Um, the upstairs bedroom is rather small. So the unfortunately, the dog can't sleep upstairs with the owner. But they do enjoy just lounging around um, on the ground level. Well, at least the dog that I have... Um, when I'm playing in this sims or on this lot with my sims and here we're just using um, this base game bed I really like the colors of it that mint and like what is it like dark green color of it I really liked the swatch of it and surprisingly this is actually you don't have to worry about um, your sims not being able to sleep in it. I know it looks really cramped and small, but your sims can actually sleep on both sides. Like your sims can get in if you have a couple that's living here. So you don't have to worry about that. They can both peacefully sleep at the same time. <laughs> and since the area is so small, I'm just using a dresser from the tiny living um, stuff pack and 
I decided that I would just put a TV in here because sometimes you just want to relax in front of the TV or on your bed. <laughs> it's just comfy that way. And then I just used some of this hanging, um, they're not functional obviously, the hanging clothes, but I decided to put that there. The colors kind of match the scheme that I was going for, so I thought it was really nice. So I also had to adjust the mirror a little, and then this blank wall, I kind of just wanted to cover it with artwork and um, plants, like hanging plants. I think it's a nice um, area to walk through or when they're walking up the stairs, they're just reminiscing about all the places that they've been to or the artwork that they've bought. So yeah, I really like that concept of it. And other than the rug, I think we're pretty much done with the interior of the build and then we're going to end up moving on to the exterior. So I imagine that um, this couple that I'm playing with, they, um, even though they live in such a small and cramped space, they do love hosting guests. So that's why um, you're going to see that in the backyard, I end up having this table that can hold like eight sims. So obviously they love to um, host guests or um, they love having friends over, they love socializing. So they just want an, a nice area to just hang out with their friends. So I thought it was, this was a nice place to incorporate that because Really, I think, um, for my sims at least, like, they enjoyed being around people and they live at the top of the mountain and, like, it's hard for people to come through, but when people actually do come out and, um, spend time with them, they're really happy and they just want, um, their guests to enjoy the night that they are spending together so we have this backyard and we have those twinkling lights i thought it looked really nice and i'm using this fencing from the eco lifestyle pack i don't think i've ever used this fencing before in any of my builds but yeah this is the first time but i think it matched really nicely here and then here I'm just fencing off this area because I wanted to put some plants. So the way that I decorate exteriors when it comes to plants is basically I um, categorize my items based on the world that I'm in. So right now I only have base game and cottage living um, in my slots where like I can only see those specific um, items from those packs so it really helps to look at the surroundings to see how you should decorate the exterior and yeah filtering which packs you want to show or not show. I don't know what the word is or like <laughs> the packs that you want to use. So especially when it comes to um, decorating with plants and such, it's good to use the same ones that are in, either in base game or um, in the world around you. So obviously we're in Henford on Bagley. so. We're just using a bunch of the plants from that area. And then I did include a washer and dryer so your sims can um, still wash their clothes if you decide to 
place this lot in your own world. Um, and then I put another, what's it called? I put a lamp at the table. And then I also put another dog bowl and dog toy outside. Just because like, you know, your um, dogs might, or your dogs or your cats, whichever one, they might still want to hang out with you when you're outside spending time with your friends and they deserve to eat too when you're eating <laughs> and then here we're just cluttering up the area a little bit I thought it would be nice to include a lot of um, plants so I imagine that this couple they still do some farming and whatnot and they're plant lovers but yeah, we're just um, decorating more of the exterior with these plants. So for honestly, it was kind of hard to um, decorate in the fall because it doesn't really have its true colors. And I was just like, oh, I don't know if this is going to work out, <laughs> like if it's in any other season. But I did test it out. Um, I skip to i think it was spring and the colors ended up or the um, landscaping still ended up looking really nice and it matched really well so if you do end up using this lot you don't have to worry about changing the um, landscaping of the plants in order to fit the season because it would fit it anyway so here we're just enclosing that gated area and I'm trying to figure out what trees I want to use um, in this build um, in the surrounding area there's a lot of purple and browns so I thought it'd be nice to have like some pops of yellow when it comes to trees as well and maybe even reds because you can hardly see the reds around also but yeah I think um, the tree placements ended up turning out pretty good. I was trying to find a, a big enough tree like this one to like be able to cover without it touching the roof. I don't think it does anyway. Like it's not even close to touching the roof. <laughs> yeah, see, it's not close. <laughs> but here we just finished off our placement of trees, just figuring out how to do that. And I'm trying to see how big of a walkway space I wanted. And in this small area outside of the fencing, I decided I wanted to make a pond. And then I would eventually add um, like ducks and fish to it. But I think I do that at the end. So I imagined that this couple still likes to do some farming um, so you can see that they have some gardening plots placed down so this is functional as well um, you just have to buy your um, crops and then you'll be able to plant them and then I'm just grabbing other activities that I thought the sims would like um, in this area and the scarecrow I thought would match really well <laughs> so this is set to fall but yeah you can play it in any other season that you'd like and then I just decided to put more activities so we have the um, the wood bench and the flower arranging table and I was thinking since um, this couple does like to host guests like they would it would be nice to have a little fireplace going or not a fireplace a fire pit going so that they can just hang out and spend some good time together <laughs> but I think it ended up turning out really nice it's not too cluttered um, for the exterior it's 
I think a good balance like it's still walkable like your sims can easily walk around the place and the left side isn't really much decorated I just put this tractor here and then I also put that horseshoe pit or horseshoe thing from I think it's from outdoor retreat and then here we have just some transportation so we have the bike and the truck not really too much going on for the left side majority of the activity is on the right side and the back and here I am finishing off when it comes to the landscape I'm trying to figure out what plants again <laughs> I didn't see or I didn't um, look at how it looks like in spring until after I finished the build honestly I should have did it while I was creating the build so that if I had to change anything that I could change it on the spot but it's okay it all worked out <laughs> it's totally fine I'm actually really happy with how it um, the build turned out and honestly I never thought I'd be any good when it comes to landscaping or decorating landscaping with like plants and stuff but I surprised myself <laughs> like it all matched pretty well and I'm just like okay I can do this I just need practice so if you ever struggle with this kind of um, decorating when it comes to like landscaping and stuff don't give up just keep trying at it keep practicing and it's good to watch other people um, on YouTube to see how they decorate as well just to get some pointers and see how um, they do things and here I am pretty much finishing off the build with um, some pathing I'm just connecting all the areas and um, putting some dark dirt pathing around the plants and such to make it more realistic and believable so and then after that I think we pretty much just have to put some ducks and insects and fish in the pond so that pretty much wraps up this build I hope hopefully you guys enjoyed it and hopefully it um, gives you some inspo and doesn't give you any problems if you end up um, uploading it from the gallery so anyways i hope you guys have a great day or night um don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you're able to and yeah hope you guys have a great day bye